Welcome back to the grind for this video on how to fly Naja. Now, this dragon, at first I struggled with, uh, with certain setups, but without a particular setup, this dragon is pretty easy to fly and very strong as far as being very difficult to take down. Now, when I was flying this dragon, this is the gear that I had on, and I had the rider that I had on Morak, which is Astrid, so about 14% percent of attack and hp roughly and so the first issue i had was if i took out the ice flak first and cloaked then when i came out of cloak the mages would drain all my rage and i wouldn't have any rage left to use my barrier and i would not have the ammo back up in time to attack the hunted mark and gain back some rage now if i hit the mages first when i would come out i would continually be disabled by the ice flak and damaged by the other damage dealing tower before my ammo would come up and allow me to take one of those towers out. Now, after testing a few things, I decided to try taking out one mage and one damage dealing tower at the same time if I wasn't able to take out the ice flak along with a mage. And this actually worked a little bit better. In this clip, I took out the red and the dark flak and then I cloaked and then when I came out of cloak, the ice flak would still disable me, but because there wasn't as many towers dealing damage, I was able to take a few shots and then use the mark to heal back and gain rage back if I did get mage drained. In that clip, he did not use a second mage drain, but in this following clip, you can see that with just one mage getting hit by one super shot, it doesn't take away all of the rage, so you still have time to use that protective shield to gain time to heal back and gain rage back. And I was able to get through this island without dying. And this is an obsidian strength dragon against level 65 to 69 towers while defended by the owner. So that actually is a pretty reasonable show of this dragon's skill. Once you come to the other islands, if there's no ice flak, you can just put on that shielding spell and use that healing mark as often as it comes up to gain back the rage, allowing you to continue using that shielding spell. If a mage super shot comes at you, you will have to cloak, and this may be challenging if you're low on rage, so you definitely do want to make sure you're not wasting the shield when you don't need to. Now we're going to look at a couple more similar setups with more defenders, but the towers are level 56, and then we're going to get into some more exciting clips with more easily to manage setups. Now you can see here, I cloak to dodge the ice flak, and then I come out and I can take a couple hits while putting on the marks and cloaking as needed and applying that invincibility shield when possible. And on this clip as well, I barely got down to about 50% health um, while continuing to put on the marks to gain back health and rage. I even got hit by a mage shot and I was disabled multiple times by the ice flak. But I would say this is about equal tier for this dragon and multiple defenders. So I think this is a pretty fair, pretty reasonable show. Now, something to consider though is even though this dragon can coast through a lot of setups, he is a very slow dragon to fly. Sometimes you need to use the cloak to slow you down, allowing time to regain ammo so you can destroy a tower. Otherwise, you might fly right over top. Now we're going to step it up a little bit. Attack level 65 towers, 4 billion defense with a defender, actually multiple defenders. And you can see that the red mage and the ice flak are right beside each other. And those are the deadly towers for this dragon. And they're both destroyed with one shot. Now you just put on the invincible shield and you just kind of coast and you use your ammo whenever it's available, cloak to slow down your flight, use the mark to gain back health and rage, but you're not losing any health with this set. So that's not a problem. And this is where this dragon really shines because if you take out those critical towers, if their island is not set up in a very specific way, then this dragon makes it very easy to destroy their base. Now that, remember, it is slow. So for things like Atlas or PVP, it does take more time and sometimes those are very time sensitive and having a slower dragon makes a big difference in whether you'll win or lose. But it is an easy dragon to use keeping in mind 
what the base is set up like. Now we had him switch the base to a more challenging setup where the ice flak and the red mage are separated. But remember, there's only one mage. I don't have to worry about two mage towers. So I am able to take out the ice flak right away. So I don't have to worry about being disabled. I can put on the invincibility shield and you can see here, the invoke smite can destroy three towers on this island as well as island two if you place it right. That one mage drain is not enough to take away all my rage then you can put a mark on to gain back health and rage from a tower i accidentally disabled my immunity shield so that is why i took some damage but i could have left it on the whole time and not taken any damage you can cloak mage shots as they're coming at you on these islands and then just again keep your invincibility shield active and every time that mark comes off cooldown place it on a tower and gain back rage to keep that spell active and like i've said before as well you use the cloak to slow yourself down like here if needed so that you don't fly too quickly over the towers as you're waiting for the very long ammo regeneration that is a weakness of this dragon you have to wait for the ammo to regenerate you can't regenerate it automatically like most other invokers now you can lead with taking out the front three towers if you're comfortable enough with it and that will allow you to take out a significant amount of the troubling towers uh, but then in this setup at least you're leaving the ice flak which means you will take more damage but it is an option depending on the setup especially if the ice flak is in front with a dark flak and a red mage that would be a great setup to use to take out the front three towers if you're comfortable doing so and then again you just kind of coast through with that shield on turn it off at the end when you don't need it so you can conserve some rage now this base has level 75 towers with 5.34 billion defense and the troubling setup with an ice flak and two mages that are actually separated so that's even more troubling and it is defended with three defenders and the owner is one of them so i tried this at first and i was not able to actually destroy the towers with the uh, invoke shot so i was required to use the cloak on the turn to get the damage boost but that makes the timing very tight for the cloak to come off cooldown so you can see i used the cloak here right before facing the island i used a shield to block the initial shots because the ice flak super shot is delayed and then i was actually able to cloak again before the mage super shots hit me which was definitely extremely helpful but not required because if I came out uh, with no rage, I could use the mark and uh, destroy the tower right away, and then it would just be the mage and the perch left but i was very impressed with the ability of this dragon to manage this base with three defenders it is a couple tiers up and i did waste some ammo on this part of the base firing into shields and not taking out multiple towers in all possible situations and we'll talk about that in a long island setup in the next clip but i am a little bit impressed actually with the if timed right and using the cloak appropriately with the mark spell when it's available you can actually get through a lot of towers on a base but again it, it does go very slowly if you're not hitting multiple towers as often as possible now this is a long middle island with level 65 towers over 5 billion defense and there will be two defenders and this is definitely above the skill grade for a, an obsidian tier dragon in my opinion but some players with some dragons can do it and yes, you could change the design of your base completely in order to counter Naha, a specific dragon, but that's not always a, a good idea to do. Um, but what makes Naha so great for these setups is once you get rid of the lethal towers, then you can coast and not worry about taking damage and only worry about dodging mage super shots. Uh, it You do have to keep in mind, you have to place the mark as often as possible so that you can keep your rage going and you have to time things right so that you can destroy all the towers. But take a look here. This is the, the troubling setup. I used the same plan to take out the damage dealing tower first, but I missed the red mage with it. Then I go for the ice flak second. I get disabled, but I put the shield back on right away and then I continue. And you can see I'm only taking one tower out at a time because I'm missing the double spots. Because the towers are spaced differently, I'm able to cloak the second time before the ice flak super shot gets me. And then even though I'm only hitting one tower at a time with the cloak, I am able to hit every single tower on this base 
piece on this back island you should be able to take out all three towers but i only hit two um but again with the mage or the rage spell and using the cloak to slow you down i was able to get every single tower on this island without running out of rage too early and without taking any damage after the initial setup when i got disabled this clip is just to show that if you use the cloak and let it expire for the damage boost, the first three shots are not enough to destroy a tower, especially a farm or mill, if you are hitting tiers above you. But as we'll see in this next clip, which is Eldritch tier versus level 100 towers, you can use the first three shots after a damage boost to take out a full tower. And this is a clip that was given to me by Jeff. Um, if you want to see the full clip, it is on my channel, so go check it out and this is showing even with the farms and mills at such high level the equal tier dragon is able to destroy them with the first three shots with the damage boost from the cloak so i really hope this video was helpful in one helping you learn how to fly naha or get a better idea of if you want to go for naha or not so thanks for watching and see you in the next video